I have the honor to present to you Jeffrey W. Payne. <laughs> I feel, when I look back, that I've grown up on this campus. Uh, I came here as a very, uh, a very young 34-year-old, uh, feeling full of energy and spry, and now here I am, going to turn 53 next year. There are no words that can truly say how fortunate I have been to have the people that I've had. Whoa, I didn't think that was going to come. Uh, have, <laughs> have had in my life's journey. And, and then having my wife that will robe me with the presidential robes and how we've been together for 30 years and how important she was in my own personal journey. I will take a moment here and this unique opportunity I have, although I am president here, to take my hat off and be one of the proud parents and friends and family up there as my daughter Emily is part of the graduating class from 2021. So. I'll, that's, that's special for me as a proud dad. UMBC is imprinted on me. I feel like when I go out and I look at the, the, the wall of 16,000 names, that means something to me because I feel like I am also a beneficiary, a, a product of that vision from, from, from the community to start the institution. When I think about where UMBC is going and where the landscape of higher education is going, it's going to be still so important to go back out into communities, to validate the 30 years of work we've done to ensure that we are, we are still holding the vision accountable to what, they, what the community wanted for this institution. School, got a job in the university, stayed at the university. I've learned so much from Elder McIntosh, now Chancellor McIntosh, over the years about broadening the lenses of, of how we think about community. And so I'm excited to continue to learn from her. I say to her all the time, I find her, her words soul recharging and grounding. Let us shower the world with peace so that our graduates find their place and shine in this world. May all those present journeying healing light and unconditional love. May your choices be freeing and with each step growing in spirit. I want to close with how honored I am to be your president. This university is, is home to me in so many ways, and I am truly excited to work with each and every one of you as we embark on the next phase of this great university. I want to thank the university community for trusting me to be your president, and let's roll up our sleeves and get to work. Thank you.